everybody, my name is Jennifer Meller. I am the nutrition coordinator for ASU over at the SDFC. And I am studying nutrition and integrative health. Hi, I'm Joyce. Um, I'm also one of the nutrition educators on the nutrition team at the SDFC. Um, I'm studying kinesiology on route to PT school, hopefully, and minoring in nutrition. So we're actually going to show you guys how to make a super easy smoothie. Um, smoothies are a great way to incorporate nutrient-dense ingredients very quickly. Um, so that's what we're going to show you guys today. Okay, so today we are making a strawberry and banana uh, and spinach smoothie. So these ingredients, the spinach in particular has iron. Um, iron actually needs vitamin C to be properly absorbed into the body, so that's why we're going to put, put the banana and strawberry, um, incorporate that together. Also the banana is going to bring a natural sweetness to the smoothie, so you don't have to add an additional sweetener if you don't want to. Um, we're using frozen fruit, so you don't have to add any additional ice, and again this just makes it super easy and that gets that good smoothie flavor. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And Joyce is going to add spinach. This was actually spinach grown in my garden. We do have gardens on the downtown and poly campuses where you can get fresh herbs, vegetables, fruits, all those types of things. And spinach is really good to add to smoothies because it doesn't have a very strong flavor. So it's easy to get greens into your diet. So then we're just going to add the water all the way basically until it um, goes to the top. And we're just adding water just because, you know, of allergies or different preferences. Um, of course, you can add milk of your choice to it to make it a little creamier. Yeah, additional, additional options would be like adding maybe like a protein powder. Um, if you were doing maybe some other ingredients, maybe like a chocolate protein powder with bananas and milk. Um, and maybe some peanut butter. That would be good for some healthy fats. You could also add some avocado into this, um, which will also add some healthy fats as well. Like I would say protein powder can be helpful and peanut butter. Um, you can also add like chia seeds and hemp seeds and flax seeds. I actually know some people who do um, oatmeal too, or not oatmeal, but the oats. They'll add that in similar um, to what Joyce was saying, adding that fiber in and kind of bulking it up um, just to kind of make it more filling. So yeah, great ideas. You ready to do the smoothie? Heck yeah, let's do okay. it, let's do it. A spinach, strawberry, banana smoothie? Yes, that's it. The is, that, <laughs> is that the Very PTBC simple. special? Yes, the PTBC special. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by our video today. We uh, really enjoyed showing you guys how to make smoothies that are uh, easy, quick, and nutrient-dense. And we hope to see you again soon. Cheers.